Hello. Hello, Francisco. Good evening. Hello. How are you, Christian? I'm pretty good. What about you? Okay. Your day? Um, I, uh, my day was okay. Um, I went to San Salvador and uh, came back like around 2.30 p.m. Okay. It means you don't live in San Salvador, at San Salvador. Uh, no, I live in Lourdes, Colón. Ah, okay. Yep. So it's not so far away. No, no. Uh, the distance is okay. Um, the only problem that you may find on a regular basis is uh, traffic. Yeah. But the distance is not bad. It's around 20 minutes, right? Right, right. Um, actually... It's um, from Santa Tecla to here, it takes me like 12 minutes. So it's not that yeah, far. It's... Yeah. So. And I think much better without traffic. Yep. Yep. All right. So welcome back. Good evening. Good evening. Everyone. Hello, Samuel. Hello. How are you? Good. Fine. Hi. I'm waiting to the rain. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you hear thunder? Yeah. <laughs> okay. May, may, maybe in this hour. Okay. Okay, so give me a second. All right. So, what's today's date again? What's the date for today? Uh, it's Thursday, 30 April 30th. Uh -huh, 30th. Yes, today April. is April 30th. 30th. What year? What's the year? 2020. Yes, 2020. Or you can say 2020. The two options are good. All right, yeah. so um, let's talk a little bit about yesterday. Um, do you remember the topics we covered? Uh, the used to. Okay, what's the function of used to? Is like uh, say the 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 things uh, we we do we yes, they do. we do it before to the kids or okay all right yes uh you're talking about things that we did as a kid and we don't do anymore yeah. Can you give me examples of things you did as a kid which you don't do anymore? Um, I used to play video games and, and now I, I didn't. Now you don't? I, I don't. I don't. I don't any any play video games okay. because I, I, I don't have any console. Okay. But you like video games? Uh, no much, no much, no much. All right, good. All right, what about the other people? Can you give us examples of the things you did before but you don't do now? Mm -hmm. Eduardo? Hello, everyone. This is Benjamin speaking. Yes, Benjamin. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, um, I'm asking for volunteers uh, to tell us the things you did as a kid which you don't do anymore. Jesse, Samuel, Chan, Elizabeth, 
Valerie. Yeah. Me yeah, again. Okay. Yes, can you give us an example of the things you did as a kid which you don't do anymore? <laughs> Only one. Don't fight. <laughs> Maybe, I, Maybe I used to play. Okay. okay. What did I you used to play? I used to play um, basketball. Okay. Now I don't play more. All right. Good. That's a good example. I used to play yeah. basketball. I don't anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Eduardo, you have the same example? Okay, what about the others? You guys are quiet today. Maybe I. Okay, please. Okay, when I was uh, around 10 years old, I used to play everyday football. Okay. But now... I don't play because I I guess I I am a little fat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so really uh, get around. Okay, so it's a real reason why you don't play um, soccer anymore. Yes, that's it. All right. Anybody else wants to give a try? I used to play uh, football. Uh huh. I love this, but I cannot do it anymore because I'm I am a person so busy. Yeah. <laughs> so busy person. All right. And I miss I miss that. Yes. <laughs> I think yeah. that everybody misses what we used to do as a kid, obviously because we yeah. enjoyed it, uh, but for different reasons, uh, we cannot yeah. do those things anymore. Yeah, okay. I used to do this like um when I was uh, like um twenty twenty uh -huh. twenty five twenty five like two years ago. Uh huh. And <sighs> is is the reason because I missed. That. Okay, all right. I'm still miss <laughs> missing the. Yeah, there are things that you will always miss. You know, like you will reminisce things like when especially when you start thinking about the things you used to do yeah yeah all right anybody else no yeah i i, I used to be play play many sport but the problem is uh, i i usually use a uh, glass and i can see any any so good Okay. Without my glass. All right. But that is the big problem. Okay. Yeah. There are many things that I used to do without. Well, basically everything used. I used to do everything without glasses. Stuck at the floor. All right. So anybody else wants to give it a try? No. Okay, so we were talking about used to. Uh, what was the other topic? What was the other topic? I didn't. I didn't. What is it? I didn't do. I didn't used to like that. <laughs> okay, so you're you're going to a negative sentence. Yeah. Okay, so what is it again? I didn't used to? I didn't used to... Uh, dance. Never. Okay, but now you do. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. In my room when I'm cleaning. All right, good, good. <laughs> Anybody else? Something that you did not do, but now you do? Hi. Yes, Benjamin. Uh, when I was kid, when I was a kid, I didn't used to used to play video games because in in that that time uh, the video game 
was expensive. Okay. Good. Good. But now uh, I guess I I can play because uh, I can buy something like that. All right. Good. Good. Anybody else wants to give it a try? No. All right. So today um, we're going to be doing different exercises. Yeah. All right. So let me see where this is. No. Knowledge check. Can you see the page? Yeah. 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 All right. So it's a little bit slow. It shouldn't be that slow. So we're going to have a review about different things we did this week. Um, what would be the answer for the first one? Did she play soccer in high school? Letter B. Letter B. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Yes, letter B is correct. What about number two? I graduated. When did you graduate from college? The the second. The second one. Yes. The second. Yes, I graduated from college in two thousand five. What about number three? I grew up in Houston, Texas. One. One. Okay, yes. Number one is the correct answer. Where did you grow up? Now we have number four. Choose the best question to match this response. I began to study English two years ago. Number one. Number yes. one. Number one is also correct. And the last one, did you have a pet when you were a child? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The tree. The tree. Okay, the yes. Third. All right, good. Uh, are there any questions with this exercise? No, it's clear. All right. So we uh, I have a question. Yes, ask me, Eduardo. When the when the question starts with did, for example, did you do or did you like the answer or the short answer, and uh, have to start with uh, yes, I did or yes, he does. All right. Um, Good question. Um, the answer, if you ask a question in the simple past, the answer should come in the simple past. Now, in a real life situation, answers can come in different forms. Grammatically speaking, if you make a question in the simple past, the answer should come in the simple past. In a real life situation, answers can come in different forms. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, did he live in the United States? No, he didn't. Yes, okay, he okay. did. Or you can say, did he live in the U.S.? No, he didn't. But he studied English in English corporativo. Okay. All right, any other questions? All right, um, next knowledge check. Kind of slow. All right, which is the correct use? Number one. Number one. one. You should say, my parents were in France. Were in France. Yes. Number three. 
what is the uh, grammatical correct answer to this question? Where were you born? Number two. I was two. born. Yes. Number, Number four. Two. My wife and I. Two where? Were. 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 Now were. remember, it's not where, were. it's were. 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 My wife and I were, were in Mexico. Were. were. And the English quiz. Was. 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 All right. All right. Good. Do we have any questions here? No. Okay. No. Next knowledge check. Uh -huh. All right. So let's answer the following question. Uh, which option is a correct way to answer the question? Were you a good student in high school? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Put these words in the correct order. You born where city in this? Where you born? Where you born? Where you born, born. Yes. Where you born in this city? Okay. Number three. Number, number three. Uh, form a question to match this answer. My favorite subjects were math and science. Number one. Number one. What were your favorite subjects in school? It's number cool. four, which is correct. Where was Peter born? Where was Peter born? Okay, so the number, number is? Is three. Three. Uh-huh. Um, do you have an, does anybody have another answer? Uh, no, the, the answer two. is two. When was Peter born? Number two. Is yes. Their person. When was Peter born? Yes, when was Peter born? It's related with time. Yes, in the house. And the last one, I was 15 years old. The two. Two. Yes, how old were you in 1999? Do you remember 1999? Yeah. I forgot. I, I was a... Uh... How old were you in 1999? 12. 12. Okay. 22. You tried 12. All right. I was six, six. Six, oh my goodness, you were a little kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a, uh, eh, oh. All right, I was 27. 27? Yes, I was 27 years old. That was 20 years ago. All right, do you have any questions about these exercises? No. no. All right. Everything is clear. One more. Uh -huh -huh. Knowledge check. We go to 1.11. So, what is the best answer for the first question? Number three. Number three. Okay. Did Jerry have a hobby? Number one. Number Jerry one. used to paint. Yeah. She still paint today. Okay. Number three. Choose the best response for this question. What games did you used to play when you were a kid? I used to play basket and football when I was a kid. Okay. So is it? Is it one, two, or three? First one. No. 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 The second, the second one. Second. Yes, the second one is better. I used to play basketball and softball when I was a kid. Yes. All right. Does everybody agree with number three? Yes. Yes. But when you when you say it's better, it's not the only correct. Uh, no, uh, what I'm saying is that the second one is the, the, the correct option. Yes, because the, okay. the verb is not changed, right? 
Exactly. Exactly. Okay, what about number four? Who did that? <laughs> what happened? Someone, someone's kid is, is in front of the computer. computer yes. <laughs> okay, so choose the best response to this question. What did you used to collect when you were a kid? The first one, right? The first one. Yes. I used to collect my books. Comic books when I was a kid. When I was a kid, yes. Okay, and the last one. My last job was easy and relaxing. I used to. I used to. I used to. The first okay. one. The first one. All right, good. All right, um, do you have any questions about all these exercises we have done? No. no. All right. Piece of cake. I'm Number one, just two. Okay. So let's check this here. Can you see that page? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, so we have countables and we have uncountables, right? What are countables? Too many. Too many. Fewer. Okay, money. Fewer. Fewer. More. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know. Cars. I don't, I don't you know. All right. So, what's the name of the mayor in San Salvador? Uh, I don't know. What is the name of what? Of the mayor in San Salvador. I don't know. Ernesto, no sé. Ernesto, Okay. That was son. I can't pronounce it. Well, uh, that, that was son is in Santa Tecla. I don't know. I'm living in Oriente. <laughs> okay. We are yeah. not Salvadorian. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, actually, they are. They come from other countries because. Mushon uh, is not a Salvadorian last name. Yeah. So anyways, uh, imagine that Mr. Mason is uh, uh, the mayor. Is, uh, well, not imagine because he is the mayor. Imagine that he's running for candidate uh, again. And um, he has a forum where people are invited. What kind of problems do you think San Salvador has? The traffic. Much traffic. Okay. Traffic, traffic. Much traffic. That is correct. What Pollution. else? Pollution. Okay. Now, can you use some of the vocabulary that we have here to express pollution? More pollution. Too much pollution. There should be less pollution. Okay. There should be less pollution. Okay. What else? What else can you say about uh, San Salvador? I guess the violence. Okay, so can you use uh, the vocabulary that we have here to talk about violence? Isn't enough parking. Okay, there isn't enough parking. That is a good example. All right. Okay, so uh, did you receive an image? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, did you receive an image? Uh, not yet. No. Not yet. For WhatsApp or where? Uh, no. Yes. The WhatsApp no. chat group. No. All right. Let me try again. Puede poner la pantalla si hacemos una screenshot. Yeah. It's, uh, do you see the image in your screen in the computer? Yeah. Too many, fewer, more, and you know, most, yeah. fresh, more. It's no. Okay. Let me see if. Um, if I'm doing something wrong here. 
Yeah, everything is set up. Okay, did you receive it? Yes. yes. All right, so once again, imagine you're going to a forum with Mr. Uh, Ernesto Muson and you're going to have to express what the problems, uh, what problems San Salvador has. So you guys are gonna be working in pairs. Imagine that your other friend is the mayor and tell him what you think, uh, which problems should be, uh, should have priority. Let me see who's writing. Yes, Neto Muchon whatever the name is. Okay, so I'm going to assign you to work in pairs. Let's see, 15 people. So I will make... Um, seven. I got 3% of my shark, so I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna left that. So I don't know, you can put that. Uh, the last time I do have one to speak so I don't want to let her or him alone okay good thanks for letting us know so we're gonna make seven yeah okay open rooms Internet is very slow. Is it raining? Mm -hmm. Eduardo. Good evening, teacher. Um, I'm alone here. <laughs> All right. Thanks for letting me know. Let me reassign you to a group. Okay, okay. All right. What is uh, 
fire fireman is the other fireman yes fireman fireman the place on the these people work is the other problem and the problem member uh -huh. example too many is a salva uh, coach coach yes sir uh, uh, to be honest i didn't understand what we are going to to okay to imagine that you're speaking with ernesto mushon whatever you pronounce his last name and okay. you will tell him about the problems that san salvador has okay ah uh, okay okay and in in some cases the problem is going to be about something countable in other cases the problem is going to be about something non countable okay so we have to use uh, countable or uncountable with it's, it's, it's your decision. Yeah. It's your right. decision. Just make sure that you talk about real problems. Okay. Uh, to be honest, I have to, to study this, this, this topic. Okay. Uh, but try... Uh, uh, uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, tell I me. Have, I, I have problems with, with uh, maybe contables and contables. Uh, Okay, but don't worry, you don't have to speak perfectly. I mean, just try to uh, imagine that you run into him tomorrow and then he asks you um, what problems San Salvador has, then you will have to tell him what the problems are. Okay, maybe it can be that Ernesto Mason uh, has to... To order the, the the city because there are there are many there are many or there are much pollution. There is much pollution. Oh, there is much pollution. Yes, Maybe. when things are not countable, they are always singular. Uncountable. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. And two del pro del programa. Uh -huh. Hello. Hi. Hello. We were talking about Santa Ana. Oh. I want to I want to go to Santa Ana. Yeah. Because we 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 don't know San Salvador. <laughs> okay. Where are you now, Elizabeth? La Unión. Okay. And Mary. Santa Ana. Santa Ana. All right, good. So, how is the emergency in La Unión? Oh, uh, it is mm, tranquilo. Nice and easy. Ah. Uh, mm, so so. Everybody okay. in quarantine. So. All right, and Mary. Uh, I'm living on a. I'm living in a, in a place of La Union. I'm not living in a centro, so I'm in a, in a downtown. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so here we are. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Mary? Uh, so I'm here in Santana, but I, I work. Okay. I'm working. All right. But it's all very, very nice. It's Quiet. The people stay in the house. So, waiting. Okay. Let's finish the quarantine. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's see this here. Da -da -da. All right. So, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. Did you have the chance to speak with Ernesto Mushon? Yes. 
All right. Did you express your concerns about San Salvador? Uh, yes. All right. I did, but he not listened to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he pretended he was taking notes, but. All right. Any questions so far? Questions, questions? Okay. So let's do this here. Fill in the blanks. Uh -huh, um, can you see the document? Can you no. see the no. no, no, no. Okay. No, no, just yet. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Share. All right, so we're going to do uh, some practice related with countables and non-countables. Mm. Here, here. Can you see the document? Yes. 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 Um, so we have to use when whenever we're using uncountables, the noun is always singular. When we're using countables, we obviously put letter S to the noun. Is that clear? Yes. Right. Yes, yes. Okay. So let me do this here. Breakout rooms. Open rooms. Uh, Would will, will you uh, send the document? Yes, I send it to your WhatsApp, WhatsApp chat. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So you guys ready? Here we go.
makeup, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, he's oh. like, what's he, what's he oh. mean of makeup? Uh, makeup is is like uh, is maquillaje. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I do not like when women wear a lot of makeup, and uncountable. it's uncomfortable too. Um, yes. Six, we both support. Afford, what is a fort? We both. For, <laughs> for the um, I don't know. Well, it sounds like a building between two, between two trees. Well, it's uh, it's countable. Trees. Tree. Yes, between two or well, mm. let me see. It's it's talking about. Three uh, arbors, right? Two trees. Yes. Yes, uh, is countable. It's countable. Number seven, my. I look at. Yes. Is equipage. Luggage. Or luggage. Luggage. Luggage without. Yes, right? Yes. Okay, luggage. Number nine. All the, girls, all the girls, in girls in my class were in a call center, but okay. uh, I attend, I give services for Brazilian people in Portuguese. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, for a uh, for a being cool. Yeah. Can I can I can I have a question for you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm sorry if I sound uh, unrespectfully, but and uh, I really want to know how is the base base salary for people who speak Portuguese in El Salvador? <laughs> Yeah, that's an interesting one. <laughs> okay, there is a uh, there isn't a uh, base salary because you uh, you earn the money uh, for each hour. Now is uh, there is no a base salary. So, so what? Oh, so you are seller seller system. Yes, like like that. But so if you don't receive calls from from Brazil, you don't you don't earn money. If you do, if you don't sell anything, if you do, it's the same. It's the same way. You are going to earn the same money. Uh, it's around three, three or three or four dollars yeah, per I, hour. I, 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 I think it's a fixed wage, right? And sometimes you 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 have to receive uh, more calls sometimes like missions and yeah. bonus oh okay so we had a name i don't know which number are you doing number the last 15. one the the, last it's unreadable <laughs> Okay. We can see. All right. We I can read the word. How old it? We many, handed handed many okay. Log or logs to the pit so we could start a fire. Logs with so S to start a fire. Yes. I think nobody here understand this sentence, teacher. Could you support us, please? Sure. Uh, the answer is logs. We handed many logs to the pit so we could start a fire. And could you, could you translate it, please, teacher? Yes. Um, nosotros entregamos muchos 
trozos para empezar un fuego en la hoguera. Teacher, okay. yes. can you tell me please the meaning of luggage? Luggage. Uh -huh. Luggage means equipaje. Ah. Luggage means equipaje. Okay, thank you. Sure. Any other questions about the other sentences? No, all the rest has been completed. All right, good. So let's return to the main session. Okay. All right, did you have the chance to finish all the exercises? Yes. Yes. All right, do you have any questions about the answers? Not really. Okay, anybody else? No? Okay, and now we go with our last exercise. It's related with indirect. Uh, may I sure. may I ask something? Sure, Antonio, please. Uh, number number uh, fifteen. I have uh, some doubt about it. Okay. Um, I I answer uh, with the plural form. So, like I, I choose logs, but I'm not completely sure about the pick sure. I did. Logs. Logs yeah. is correct. We okay. handed many logs to the pit so we could start a fire. Yeah, I, 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 I choose I choose logs more more from how the sentence uh, was like looking with logs and not log, but, but I wasn't completely I yes. wasn't completely sure that I that I was picking the right one. Yes, uh, logs yeah, sometimes can be tricky. Right, right. Uh, I completely agree with you. Sometimes the answer can be tricky, but in this case, logs was the correct answer. Okay, thank you very much. Sure. All right, does anybody else have other questions? No? All right, so let me uh, Okay, so here we have today's main um topic is about indirect questions from WH questions. Now, what is a WH questions? Um, the way that we ask questions every day. For example, where is the bank? Where are the restrooms? How often do the buses leave? What time does the bank open? And when did flight 556 arrive? Um, are there any questions with that first part? No. Okay. No. Now, when do you use this um, question? Okay, good question. Um, these are optionals. However, if you ever take a TOEFL exam or a TOEIC exam, uh, these questions will be included there. So when you're taking a TOEFL exam or a TOEIC exam, they never ask you questions about theory. Like what is the rule for the third person singular? Uh, what is the form of the verb if you're using models? They never ask you this. They just ask you a question or a sentence. Uh, 
and they give you options. Everything is multiple choice, multiple choice. So whenever you take the TOEFL or the TOEIC exam, um, all the answers are A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So you will never leave uh, a blank uh, answer. So going oh, back okay. to her question, when do we use them? These are optional. Uh, but like I said, if you're taking an exam to measure how much you manage English, uh, these topics will be included. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. It's good to know. Yes. Oh, I have, have some, to be... some additional question about it. Uh, excuse me? I have another question about, yes. about, about yes. this. Um, uh, it is possible to um, like uh, continue the, 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 the courses, I mean, intermediate level to advanced level and then go to the uh, preparation. Uh... Awful preparation. Yeah? Yes, it's possible. Okay, that's great. Yes, all you have to do is have 80% of the, of the answers in the platform and you are automatically uh, sent Qualify. or promoted to, um, to the higher level. Okay, that's great. All right, does anybody else have other questions? Okay, so indirect questions are questions, that's redundant, where you make an extra statement before making the question. So look at the first example. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses leave? Do you know what time the bank opens? Do you know when flight 556 arrived? Those are examples of indirect questions and like I said, at the beginning of each question, you say something else, you say something additional. And, um, and that's basically how you make an indirect question. Is this like a way to be polite with another person? Uh, yes, we can say that. It's another form to sound more polite to sound more educated. Um, so if you, instead of saying, uh, where's the bank, uh, you want to sound more polite and you want to say, could you tell me where the bank is? Where are the restrooms? Uh, you want to sound more polite? It will be better if you say, do you know where the restrooms are? Yeah. I have a question. Yes, Eduardo. Uh, I'm reading and I and I think that the verb, for example, is, uh, well, the verb be in the first two sentences, it's at the end in the indirect question, right? Yes. Uh, we have to use always in this way? Yes. If you can... That's a good question. If you can, always use verb to be at the end of the question. When you're using indirect. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the restrooms are? So verb to be, it recommended that goes at the end. Okay. okay. And I have a other question. Yes, Eduardo. About the, the second part. Yes. The, the verb, in, for example, the verb leave, open, arrive, it's in simple perfect in the, in the indirect question or in what tense are writing? Okay, uh, good question. The first two examples are in the simple present and the last one is in the simple past. So you can use okay. indirect questions in different tenses just make sure that uh, uh, you're using the right structure of the question. Mm. Okay, thanks. All right, 
Does anybody else have uh, other questions? Questions, questions? Okay, so if I said, how do I get to Lourdes from here? How do I get to Lourdes from here? How will you make that question indirect? Would you repeat it? How can I get to Lourdes from here? Can you tell me how do you get to the Lourdes from here? Okay, could you tell me how to get? Good. What if I say what time is it? Can you tell me? Do you know what time? Do you time know what time is? What time it is? Mm -hmm. That is that is related to Eduardo's question. If you include verb to be in an indirect question, verb to be has to be at the end. Okay. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. How many brothers do you have? What would be the indirect question? Do you know how many brothers do you have? Okay, do you know how many brothers <laughs> you have? Good question. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So if I say, what are your brother's name? And then you start saying names like, and then someone tells you, well, do you know how many brothers you have? Yes. Okay. So where did she go? Where did she go? Can you tell me where she go? Where she went. When? So because the question that I'm making is where did she oh, when? go? Yeah, uh -huh. where did she go? Now, do yeah. you know where she went? You need to change. The, exactly. The exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So we're going to stop here. Uh, do you guys have any questions? Uh, no. I have a last question. Yes, Eduardo. About indirect question, the yes. auxiliar, the auxiliar do, it is in use of. Okay. So, so what is the question? Uh, we have to use the auxiliar do in the in direction question. Okay, at the beginning, do you know where you live? But Yes, but only at the beginning. Only at the beginning. You don't need to include it again in the uh, middle. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Thanks. Right? All right. So we're going to stop here. Uh, once again, thank you very much for your time. And I will see you Monday. You guys have a nice weekend. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Have a nice Thanks. weekend, everybody. Take, All right. take care, everybody. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh,